Okay, so Microsoft has released a new version of Notepad that now supports Markdown. That means you get lightweight formatting in Microsoft's 40-year-old text editor. It was first made available inside of the beta channels for Windows around the end of May, but it's now actually rolling out to all Windows 11 users. So in this video, I want to show you a bit about Markdown, teach you some Markdown while using this new version of Notepad. So what is Markdown? Well, of course, traditionally, you either had something that was just plain text, so, you know, just plain text, or in a word processor, you might be able to do bold and underline and all that kind of thing. Well, actually, now inside of Notepad, you can actually, let's say, bold. Look, there's a button up here. You can click on the toolbar bold, and that now turns that into bold text. Well, how do you save a text file that's got bold text? It Surely it needs to be saved as a PDF file or as a Word document or as a HTML document? Well, the answer is here. If you go down to the bottom here and click on formatted, it will switch it back to plain text. Now notice here, asterisk, asterisk, so star, star at the beginning and the end. That's markdown, a way of using normal characters, in this case, uh, two asterisks at the beginning and end, to say that this text should be bold. So when you click down here again in formatted, it will show you that in its formatted view. But of course, you can send around this text uh, in an email, uh, on a web page, you can edit it in a text editor just by using it like that. So let's dive into some of the ways that you can use Markdown. So for example, we're inside of the plain text version. Here I'm going to say, I'm going to write a blog post about USB, understanding USB. Now at the moment, just as plain text, no matter how you view it, it's just going to look the same. It's just plain text, no matter which view you're in. But the first one to learn with uh, Markdown is if you put a hash or a sharp sign in front of it, then that turns it into a title. So now if we look here, look at that. Understanding USB, a comprehensive guide. Let's just make that slightly smaller. There we go. Okay, so there you go, it's turned it into a title. And now, of course, we could just add some text under that as you would in a normal thing. So here inside the formatting mode, we can just add in some text and you can see here, it's just normal text. If you click on here, it allows you to change what type it is. It tells us now it's a title. If you click on here, it's just normal text, body text as they would call it. Now let's go back to the markdown. Here you can see plain text has got no extra character around it. Now if I wanted to add in a subtitle now, exploring the types and applications of USB. Now one sharp or hash sign gives me a title, two gives me the next level down. So if we now click back on here, you can see this is now known as a subtitle and slightly smaller how it's rendered. Each rendering system can use its own uh, own system, how big exactly wants the font and everything. And then I can go in here now and I could add in some more text. OK, and now if I want another uh, level, let's say I go down to here, overview of USB, because we're building this up now. Now I've cut this into the formatted view. Now if I just select that and go up here and say, well, now I want a heading. Go over to the markdown version, you can see it's got three hash signs in it, and so on and so on. In fact, let's just cut and paste. You can go up to six levels of hashing uh, inside of Notepad, and it, each giving you a smaller title. So I've added in now overview, we had key milestones, that's got four uh, hash signs or sharps, then we've got five, and then we've got six. And if we go into the view here, look, you can see they get progressively smaller as you go along, and we've got the text, the body text, under each one. That's really the first thing to learn about Markdown is that you can just go different levels of heading by adding in more uh, sharp signs or more hash signs. But it can do more than that. Let's say I wanted a bullet list. Well, that's really easy inside of Markdown. So I'm going to cut and paste some text in here now. OK, so I've got three levels of uh, sharp signs for my heading connectors. And then here's my bullet point list. Here's all the different connectors. And I just put a star space and then the list that I want to create. And if I go back here into the render view, you can see that's now come up as a bullet point list. And the same is also true if I wanted a numbered list. So let's add some more text here to our uh, blog post on USB. This is about USB 4. What are five things you should know about USB 4? Well, just to make a numbered list, you literally just number it. One, two, three, four, five. Now, it's not automatic numbering. You have to put in the numbers. One, two, three, four, five. And then when it renders that, it will render that as one, two, three, four, five. 
So that's really, really simple. It's not hard to create these things in a plain text version. Of course, the other thing is, as a plain text version, this is still quite readable. You know, if you were just writing pure text, this is a good way to mark different levels of headings and subheadings and bullet point lists and everything. So it's very, very readable, even without the formatting. And that's what the idea of Markdown is. So you can create it in a text editor like Notepad, and you can view it in a text editor like Notepad. And then if it gets rendered in a no, in a Markdown view, of some kind, and of course, things like uh, you know GitHub use this in its README files as an example. And there are many, many places it's used. Then it gets rendered in a nice, nicer way. Now, a few other things to learn. Okay, let's say I've got some more text here. I've got summary. I've already made that a heading. And now I've got some text here talking about USB. Let's say I want to turn Universal Serial Bus into italics. Go up here, click on the toolbar italics and let's say I want to make standardized technology uh, into bold like that so there it is italics and bold italics and bold in the formatted view if we go into the markdown view what does it look like well a single star at the beginning of the end of the text gives me italics and a double star as I showed you earlier on gives you bold so there again really clear way of being able to format some text using markdown and then one final thing if I have a link that I want to include so let's say in here we have a, a new section more info where can we find more info well let's say I've got a USB link to a Gary explains video okay there it is well how do we turn that into a, a link inside of the document well let's give it uh, what we do is let's uh, click on the link button here okay so what's the link address well actually it's this is the actual address and the uh, title that we want for that the link text the anchor text is uh, is going to be you know the title of the video so there it is usb 3 versus 3.1 versus what's the difference that's now a link that i could click on and uh, let's turn this into a the correct uh, thing here a heading like that okay now what's that look like in markdown well what you do is you go down to here and you can see this so the important thing is the first bit is the text is in square brackets okay that's the text you're going to link on and then the actual text you want is in round brackets or parentheses uh, with the actual link in it. So if you put this and this, and then you fill them in, one with the title, one with the link, that's going to give you an actual link in Markdown. And again, this is user readable. You can see what this is about here. Here's the link to it. Here's the text. If you click on the formatted version, then it actually gives you an actual link that you could go ahead and click on and open up that web page. So there you go. How you use Markdown and how you use it in Notepad. Mm -hmm.